Hey guys, Brittany here. I'm just hopping on for a quick chat. I wanted to show you guys my new shelves and something that I made. Um, and just talk about a couple random little things. So, um, I made this and I actually really like it. I didn't think I was going to at first, but I ended up really liking it. This is a button. So this is a dish towel you put on like the oven. Um, so you just, you know, you got your little buttonhole. You slide this over the oven and then you slide your little button in. Um, now this was, this turned out a little big longer, I guess, than I had planned. But I think I just have a small oven. So I think it would actually look fine on you know, most other ovens. Um, but I really do like it. And this is a pattern by Crystal at Bag of Day Crochet. And I don't know how well you can see, but it, it's just shell stitch. Every row is just shells. Um, and it's five double crochet shells. And so she did hers 30 rows long. Um, and I'll, I'll link the pattern too, in case you decide you want to watch it. Um, she did hers 30 rows wrong. I crochet really tight, so I had to go 35 because 30 was just, it was kind of almost looking square even. It just didn't look great. Um, I sewed the button on with needle and thread. I am not a sewing person, so it's definitely not that great. But um, it works, and it's not even really a button, actually. It's supposed to be an ornament, but it worked, so... I needed a test run while I wait on my buttons to arrive because I'm going to be making a lot of these. We had a long talk with our neighbors yesterday, Peg and Bill, sweet, sweet couple, um, both retired. She has a booth at an antique shop in a neighboring city. Um, it's called Antiques and More, and she wanted me to make some dishcloths to start selling at her booth. Um, she's also got the top selling booth out of the entire store, so it's very promising. I'm not sure what I should charge for these. Also, I think I might want to make like, like a hot pad, maybe, that matches it. Um, not 100% sure yet, but I really do like the way that this turned out. And this was with peaches and cream. I got it at Walmart. You know, it's a good 100% cotton yarn. So, that's what I used to make this. And this is the green that I used, which I've got the label here. Um, that's not it. The color is Limeade. That's the name of that color. Just, you know, regular. Peaches and cream on a cone color one I made. Um, this is something, and then of course white for the top, just plain white, it's called Blanco, is the color name. Also peach thin cream, so both of those, that's how I made the dishcloth. Um, also wanted to show you guys this. This was made out of scrubby smoothie and just scrubby cotton. This I made actually a while ago for my parents' soap business. Um, my parents and then my aunt and uncle both own a soap business. It's called Shady Grove Soap Company. Um, they have 100% natural soap. It's all organic. They work really, really hard. They go to lots and lots of shows. They're still trying to build their business and make it great. Um, the products they offer are great. And when we, when customers buy, they repeat buy. We, they do have a website, which I will also link that down below if you're interested in you know, completely natural soap. They will definitely appreciate the business. Uh, they've got, you know, soap, scrubs, they've got bath bombs, bath fizzy powder stuff. It's like basically crushed bath bombs. Uh, lotions, they've, my dad makes stuff for men, uh, beard soap and things like that. He's got a little kit, he's got a brush. It's really, really nice. They make really good stuff and they take very good care of everybody. Um, so this is something that I made for them. Now I've made a whole bunch of these for them actually, and they've sold all of them. 
at their shows. But this is just a little soap buddy. That's what we call it. This is scrubby cotton. And then it's actually made out of scrubby smoothie, which I don't have any of it around, so I can't show it to you. Um, but if, you know, I would, I would definitely make a tutorial out of this. Um, in fact, I'll probably make one soon and then post it. I'm probably not going to use the scrubby smoothie though. I do have a little bit of this left over, I think. So I might be able to do that side too. Um, but yeah, it's, you drop soap in and it's got a little drawstring. Um, I made a few versions before, you know, I came up with one that I really liked. So this was like version number, I don't know, five or something. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'll probably share a tutorial of how I made this as well. Um, so as you can see behind me, I have a shelf now. Um, this right, this is my knit crate yarn, by the way, for those of you who saw that, you know, I was going to cake it, um, since I got that yarn swift over there. Um, so I caked it. I caked both things. One did turn out nicer than the other, but it's, it's just so beautiful. Look how sparkly it is. It's so gorgeous. Um, so I mean, up here, I've got one of my fancy yarns. That's what I call it anyways. I've already shown it to you guys, but it's the sheep Shape yes, sheep, however you say it, our tribe. Um, I felt like this one deserved to be on display, so that's why. And this is one that's been caked because I have frogged three projects with this yarn. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just I thought I'd show you guys my little, you know, my uh, shelf setup. This is all chunkies, whether it be, you know, chunky or super chunky and then I, I don't have all my shelves filled up yet I still got a lot more yarn coming um, so when those get here I'm sure that will help this is all cottons bulkies like I said these are all acrylic and then these are my cakes I've got three different colors of the comfy cotton blend which I did show those in another video chai latte cloud nine I can't remember what that brown one's called um, these came in a mystery bag. These are Twirl from Hobby. I got four. So I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one. Those all came in a mystery bag. And then I've got a green one somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Um, but yeah, that's all mystery bag yarn. This I bought on purpose and I quickly regretted it because it's three strands and here it's three strands and it's actually really really hard to work with the stitches I can do I can do the stitches I can work with a small hook that's not the problem it's going through my fingers I can't hold tension on it because it just as you can see you know it just kind of fits without any any tension there so I may figure out if I can spin this I don't I don't know if there's a quick and easy way this is a lot of yardage. I'm sorry, this is twirls. Um, the other one's twister. These are twister. I'm sorry. This is 800 meters. Oh, it's 874 yards. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to be patient enough to actually spin that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I will. Um, it is 100% cotton, so, you know, again great for dish rags, you know, stuff like this. Um, it's just very, very difficult to work with because I can't hold tension on it. So if you guys know a trick, a way that would make it a lot easier for me to hold tension on this, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, I got some woolies, some scarfy. This is what's caked after finishing something and then completely frogging it. I don't even know what yarn this is. Um, I love working with it. It's a bulky number five. 
definitely a bulky number five. Um, the colors are gorgeous. I actually made my closest friend, we might as well be sisters, we call each other sisters, Holly, um, made her a hat with this yarn and a cowl, matching cowl, and it actually fits very well. And that was the first hat that I made that fit well, <laughs> so I was proud of that. Um, but yeah, so I've got, I don't, I'm not sure what to do with this. Uh, so it's just kind of sitting here. And then I've got all these little baby, these little amigurumis. The red heart amigurumis. I've got three. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think amigurumi is for me. I got these because they were adorable. But I did one. I bought four. And I did one. And I have not picked up any more of these. Uh, not a huge fan. This is all Karen Simply Soft except for those two. These are Premier Anti-Pilling. Um, I've only got these two skeins. I've got this gray and the white. And, you know, it's really soft. It really is. I love the way that it feels. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to make with 100% acrylic solid yarn. So, I mean, I've got one skein. This is mm, 203 yards. I don't know what to make with it. I don't know what to make with the white one. Maybe I should combine them and make something. I don't know. I don't have an imagination. So I search Ravelry and YouTube and I Google and I will do that for hours <laughs> and I still won't find something. Sometimes I do find something. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I'll do that. And so that's what I do. But I can't figure out what to do with this. So if you guys have any ideas, please comment and let me know. Um, like I said, I've got two. And then, you know, my three Ferris wheel here and then Mandela Sparkle. I've actually got three of these. This is just, I think it's plain old Mandela. Um, and then Mandela Ombre. So yeah, and I've got this one latte cake left over from a sweater that I made for a friend. And it's so soft. And I'm definitely going to do something with it. I just don't know what. Again, I don't have an imagination. I don't look at a yarn and think, oh, that would be perfect for this. I just look at the yarn and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it and I have to have it. So I get it. <laughs> um, you know, that way, when, there, when I do come across a project, I've got the yarn. So I'm ready. Um, definitely still building my yarn stash. It's going to take a little bit more time. I'm actually, I was actually very sad when I finished and had a whole bunch of Oops, I'm stabbing stuff. Oh, what am I doing? I should put that down. All this empty space. Um, <laughs> that actually makes me quite sad. But um, right now I am really, really into cotton. <laughs> really, really into cotton. I got a two pound mystery bag of willow yarn from Hirschner's on the way. And it's all, well, it's cotton, cotton blend. Um, but I'm super excited to get that. It's supposed to be here Thursday, along with two other Michael shipments. And I have Mary Maxim on the way. Joanne's finally shipped today. Hobby and Dara Morris still have not shipped. And those were both a long time ago. And they have not shipped. So hopefully, I mean, I got like tracking numbers for them, but they haven't left their facility. So I don't know what's up with that. Also... I was telling you guys where I got this Red Heart Unforgettable. It's an Etsy shop. I found her card. Um, so it's Copper Centaur Studios. Oh, that is so backwards. I'll just read it to you. Copper Centaur Studios. Um, it's in Indiana. And... Yeah, Indiana, um, coppercentaur.com, all traditional spelling, copper centaur, C-O-P-P-E-R-C-E-N-T-A-U-R.com. So I will try to remember to link that down below too. 
Um, looks like they are still taking orders, but I know soon they will only be working off of their website because Etsy is raising their fees and they don't want to charge customers more. So, um, yeah, they may be limited on what they're accepting right now, but they did really good in getting my stuff to me. I was very happy with the time it took to receive it. Um, so I, I think that's it. Um, really the only other thing I did get a couple more colors in this cotton. When I go to Walmart, you know, I see it. My Walmart is completely cleaned out of cones now. Uh, between me and everybody else, there are no cones left until they restock. But I thought this would be a good color for dish towels or, you know, some sort of kitchen set. Maybe I'll make just hot pads with them. Maybe I'll make a dish pad, hot pad, uh, dish towel and hot pad combo. I don't really know what all I'm going to do to sell at this booth. But I definitely am going to be using all of this cotton. Except for that one, because that's my mom's. It's for her beach bag. Um, one of those I want to use for myself, because it's really pretty. And then the other colors, you know, that's all meant for this other stuff. For like, you know, whatever I can sell at that booth. Um, so, yeah. And then... I love this color too. I think I'll make some dish towels out of that. Or maybe I will make some little bowls. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We shall see. Um, but I think that's it. I'm sorry if this was a boring video. Um, I just wanted to hop on. You know, get another video out there. Make sure I'm posting enough. Because I know that it's not going to happen overnight. So. Oh, and this is going to be getting mounted on the wall. Um, my boyfriend is going to mount this for me. Uh, we were supposed to do it today, but we both forgot. So, uh, yeah, I think that is it. Um, only other thing... You guys tell me if I'm crazy, but I've got this yarn shopping list. I've got Michael's. I've got Joann's. I've got Mary Maxim. Um, here's Ice. Ice takes up the front and back. And this is all yarns that I just I want to try. Um, and then I've got Hershner's, which there's not much there. Um, Lion Brand. I've got Premier. <laughs> Um, Premier Continued. Smiley Yarns is supposed to be a really good company to buy from. They have great prices from what I can see. Love Crochet, which I guess is now Love Crafts. Um, some of my lists are longer than others. Your Inspirations. And Hobby. Um, the International Orders. I'm definitely going to wait until all this is done and everything has gone back to normal because waiting this long for a shipment to even leave the facility is insane. I'm sure they're slammed busy, but if it's already been packaged and it has a tracking number and it's got a label on it, why has it not left your building? That's why I'm confused. Um, Hobby Lobby, which as soon as they open back up, I am going to buy some I Love This Cotton because I have to have some. I just have to. Everybody talks so many good things about it, so I've got to get it and try it for myself. Um, Hobium. And webs, uh, pretty sure that's the last one, webs.com. Yeah, that's it, that's the end. Um, so, oh, this is my little, this is my little book. Life is Short by the Yarn. I love this little book. It's got stuff from my Rosetta in it. Local yarn shops that I need to visit. So, yeah. That's everything. Um... I don't think I have anything else for you guys. So everybody have a wonderful rest of your night. And if you did watch my whole video, thank you for suffering. I know it was long and you probably got bored, but you're fighting through it with me. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.